All right, let's get back to our discussion about the stimulus package that is being considered right now on Capitol Hill. They're working on it in the House, and then, of course, they'll come up with their bill. They'll compare it with the Senate bill, and then they'll have to get something in between. Uh, Matt Lewis, Major Garrett brought up a very interesting point uh, about the fact that President Obama wants to see, you know, this to be a bipartisan bill. What we don't know yet is whether he's going to put any pressure on Democrats to accept some of the things that Republicans want in this bill. What's your take on that? Well, yeah, he definitely does want it to be bipartisan, and I, I'm actually encouraging Republicans to vote against this bill because, number one, we were warned about the Armageddon last time there was a bailout that obviously didn't work. This bailout will not work. And if Republicans want to sort of regain the mantle of being fiscally responsible and the party of fiscal responsibility, they simply can't support uh, this bill. Number one, it doesn't work. You know, if, if, if we want to actually grow the economy, you can't spend your way out of a recession. What we need to do is what John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan did, which is invest in marginal, you know, uh, tax cuts. That will actually grow the economy. Right. But let, let uh, Republicans... Go ahead. I, Republicans will be going down the you. wrong trail here. Okay, I gotcha. Let me ask Adam Lushinsky about that. There's a lot of just discussion that goes along the lines of this discussion right here. That stimulus has not worked in the past. So why do you think we're trying it again? Uh, I think it's I think it's absolutely necessary that we try it again because the, the, only the government can spend this amount of money. You know, I would really take issue with the last point that the last bailout didn't work. Uh, we were at financial Armageddon in October or so. We spent three hundred some billion dollars. Well, but to all we've heard the about that is that the, the banks sat on the money and that they didn't lend. So that's why people get the impression that it didn't work. It was critical that the banks not be in a position to fail. Hang on, Adam. We're going to dip back into the briefing because Robert Gibbs is talking about what we're talking about. Uh -huh. Sitting in this package, let's listen in. Uh, of this process, uh, to speak with commanders both on the well as 